Fair Ideas is a two-day conference in Rio on the 16th and 17th of June. It's being hosted by the Catholic University uh, in, in Rio and organised by IIED, the International Institute for Environment and Development. Uh, the reason we decided to do this was twofold. Firstly, we think that IIED and the organisations that we work with around the world have a huge amount of experience and interesting reflections from our research and our practice that we want to share with a global audience and we think an event next to the summit that takes place just before the Heads of Government Summit in, in Rio is exactly the right place in which to share that kind of reflection and secondly we want to create a space in which people can come and contribute their ideas, their learning, their reflections so we're not just organising uh, sessions in which people listen to speeches, we're organising sessions in which people engage and a wide range of organisations and individuals have an opportunity to get their thoughts across. What distinguishes this event from, from other ones is that this uh, tries to focus on specific contexts and practical examples. We've emphasised solutions in the material that we've put together about the event and in the agenda that we've created and that's very much the, 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 the focus here. We're not talking about abstract concepts, we're not talking about what others should do that's different, so much as saying what's already happening that can be learnt from, replicated, amplified, adapted. This is focusing on practical things that can be done that added up make a huge difference around the world. What we've organised in the agenda for the event is a stream of simultaneous meetings. We're extremely lucky that the university is an extensive, has an extensive range of different spaces for sessions. They're organising a large auditorium which will hold six to seven hundred people in which we'll have eminent speakers from government, from civil society, from a range of organisations giving their views and engaging with uh, specific issues. Simultaneously around, around the campus we'll have smaller sessions for audiences of between 90 and, and 400 in different size venues looking at more specific issues so these might include sessions on payments for ecosystem services in Costa Rica and Amazonas for, as an example on sanitation challenges in Brazil and lessons from elsewhere in the world so they're getting to grips with more concrete issues and we want to give people the chance to have both the overview from senior uh, people from relevant organisations but also the specifics and a chance to engage with people who work on particular issues and hear the interchange between them and contribute their own views and ideas to those. In terms of the programme for the event we're also very keen that it's relevant for students and there'll be a strong presence from the Catholic University and from other universities in Rio of students and young people interested in these issues so it's not just for professionals uh, from outside Brazil, it's also very much relevant for a Brazilian audience. It's a free event so people will be able to turn up without paying any fee. We do ask that they register in advance so that we're aware that, they, that they're coming but we're not able to give um, prior seats, places in sessions to people who register in advance because we don't have the capacity to distinguish between people who've given us their details beforehand and those who turn up late in the day. So the advantage from registering in advance is that we're in touch with you and we can share detail on the event with you beforehand and we can be in touch with you afterwards as well. So this is very much you know, an opportunity for us to link with a, a, a wider audience of people around the world and keep in touch with you before, during and after the event.